Welcome back to Easy Electra. In this tutorial, we'll explore timers in TIA portal. We'll cover four types of timers, TP, Pulse Timer, Tone, On Delay Timer, TOF, Off Delay Timer, and Toner, Retentive On Delay Timer. First, we'll add all timers in our program, set each with a 10 second delay, and then select them one by one. Let's begin by opening TIA portal and creating a new project. Click on Create New Project, give it a name, and then click Create. Now, let's add our S7-1200 PLC. Click Add New Device, select the CPU model, and click Add. Next. Go to the Program Blocks section to start programming. I'll first add the TP Pulse Timer. Open the Instructions tab, go to Timers and drag the TP Timer into Network 1. For input, I use a normally open No button I0.0 .0, and for output, a call Q0.0. .0. Now, I'll set the timer duration to THUSH10S. This means when I press the button, the output will stay on for 10 seconds and then turn off automatically. In Network 2, let's add the Tone on Delay Timer. Again, I'll use a No button I0.1 as input and a coil Q0.1 as output. Setting the delay to THUSH10S means the output will turn on only after 10 seconds of continuous button press. Now, in Network 3, I'll add the TOF, Off Delay Timer. The input will be I0.2 and the output will be Q0.2. I'll set the time delay to 10 seconds. This means when the input turns off, the output will remain on for 10 more seconds before turning off. Finally, in Network 4, I'll add the Toner, Retentive On Delay Timer. The input is I0.3 and the output is Q0.3. Again, I'll set the delay to 10 seconds. The special thing about toner is that it retains the accumulated time even if the input goes off. Before simulation, we need to compile our program to check for errors. Click on Compile in the toolbar. If there are no errors, we are good to go. Now, let's download the program to our PLC. Click on Download to Device, select the correct PLC and click Load to transfer the program. Once the program is loaded, we need to switch the PLC to Run mode to execute the logic. Now, let's start the simulation and test I1. Testing TP Timer Network 1 when I press I0.0 the output Q0.0 turns on instantly and stays on for exactly 10 seconds, then turns off automatically. Testing Tone Timer, Network 2, for the Tone Timer, I'll press I0.1 and keep it pressed. Notice that the output Q0.1 turns on only after 10 seconds. If I release it before that, nothing happens. Testing TOF Timer, Network 3, for the TOF timer, I'll turn on I0.2 and the output Q0.2 turns on instantly. But when I turn I0.2 off, the output remains on for 10 more seconds before turning off. Testing Toner Timer, Network 4, for the Toner Timer, I'll press I0.3 multiple times. Notice how it accumulates time even when released. Once the total 10 seconds is reached, Q0.3 turns on and stays on until I reset it manually. So that's how timers work in TIA Portal V18. We covered TP, Tone, TOF, and Toner timers, all set with a 10 second delay. TP, Pulse Timer, turns on for a fixed time when triggered Tone, On Delay Timer, delays output turning on TOF, Off Delay Timer. Keeps output on for a delay after input turns off toner, retentive on delay timer, accumulates time until reset. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you liked it, 
Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Easy Electra for more PLC tutorials. See you in the next one.